today we are here with Osa Bay from a Swedish poet in Singapore. She's here taking part in the Singapore Writers Festival. Asa, please tell us a bit more about yourself. Well, I'm a poet. I have six collections of poetry in Swedish and I think maybe four in English. Uh, and I've also written a, a kind of a poetry fiction story for younger people. And I also write essays and reviews in Swedish newspaper magazines. Uh, hmm? So how did you begin writing? Well, I, th I think I started writing poetry because I wanted to create nuances in language. Because I came from a place where we didn't read that much literature. I'm not from an intellectual environment. And uh, I wanted to make reality more complex. And I wanted a language for it. And then I started to invent my own words and so on. And then it became poetry. Of course, what else <laughs> could it be? Favorite Swedish book? Do you have one? Uh, well, at the moment, I would say I read books from uh, Fredrik Sjöberg, an essayist, and uh, who's writing. Uh, could look as look like he's writing about nature and, and uh, bugs. He's a collector of bugs, but. Underneath, it's about something totally different. So that would be my choice at the moment, and especially his latest book, Jupiter i morgon kan det vara för sent. It's about two artists, forgotten artists. You have now participated in the Singapore Writers' Festival for the weekend, and you have taken part in several Nordic panels and uh, poetry readings. Tell us about your experiences at the Singapore Writers' Festival. Well, I'm impressed of the level of the poetry in Singapore because it's more understandable than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a totally different culture, a totally different poetry culture, but actually it's not. It's a bit different, but still I can find my ways into it, so I'm quite impressed and I think I, I know I will go on reading literature from Singapore. I didn't know anything about it before. I had read one Singapore writer uh, who was translated into into Swedish. That's all. Lastly, describe your writing in three keywords. Uh, well, okay, I write about a lot about animals at the moment. I write about nature and maybe I would use the word freaks as well. Okay, thank you very much then. Thank you. Thank you.